Apple showcased its latest iPhones in a much-anticipated product unveiling held at its new campus in Cupertino, California. Josh Lipton has the details on the company's latest iteration of its 10-year-old signature gadget. We do have one more thing. And with that, Apple introduced the world to the iPhone X. CEO Tim Cook borrowing the famous phrase from his predecessor at an event today in the Steve Jobs Theater on Apple's new spaceship-like campus. Cook called it the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone, along with a $999 price tag. Apple unveiled a slew of new features on the iPhone X, including facial recognition, camera upgrades, and no more home button, plus wireless charging, a feature already offered by Samsung and others. The flagship phone will ship November 3rd, a little later than usual, raising some concerns about supply chain constraints ahead of the holidays, although in line with Apple's previous guidance. iPhone. Apple also introduced an iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, which will be available later this month. The iPhone is critical to Apple's business. It represents about 60% of the company's revenue. Big contributor to the campus you see right behind me here, which was built for a reported $5 billion. But the iPhone wasn't the only new product announced today. Apple TV has changed the way we experience television. Now we're at the next major inflection point. One that has the most stunning visuals ever, that are ideal for the large TV screens that are coming into our living rooms. This will bring cinematic quality to virtually everything that you watch. The watch is also breaking free in a sense, as a new version of the watch will have a cellular connection built in, allowing you to untether from your iPhone. Apple stock tips slightly on today's event announcements, and a sentiment a bit more bullish. We should know soon enough, only 105 shopping days until Christmas. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Josh Lipton from Cupertino, California.